welcome to Roundtable. Today we have with us at the Roundtable Dr. Kavan Ratnatunga. He is the Chairman of the International Year of Astronomy 2009 and the President of the Sri Lankan Astronomical Association. Good evening, Doctor. Hi, good evening. So, Doctor, do give us an introduction about yourself. We, you also uh, told us that you were also working at the NASA. So, if you can elaborate on your experiences. Okay, I actually did a physics degree in Columbia, University of Ceylon and left for America in 1978, did a master's there, and then did my PhD in Australia, and then went back to the United States at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, and then did a couple of postdocs. And then in 1992, I joined the Hubble Telescope Medium Deep Survey Cree Project, where I was working for about 12 years with the Hubble Space Telescope about Astron and uh, doing research Wait, into was images. Was this in NASA? Yes. Hubble's telescope? Uh, the, okay. the, NASA, the Hubble Space Telescope is a NASA telescope which is orbiting the Earth and uh, gets uh, takes photographs of the heavens and then we get it down and analyze it on the computer to find out about what the universe is all about. So it was a fun uh, 12 years where I was doing research, discovered a few things and uh, then I came back to Sri Lanka in 2004 and have been here since then getting involved with various things, astronomy as well as other fields of interest to me, like archaeology, which is my latest interest. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here and talk about the new year. Right. So, um, Doctor, now you were just telling about the, your experience in NASA, but also to, uh, to, to, uh, today evening is the New Year. So, how can we relate this study of astronomy and New Year? Like, can we define New Year in terms of astronomy? Yes, the New Year is defined on astronomical framework. That is when the sun, in its, as we see it from the earth, appears to go across a boundary from the constellation of Pisces into the constellation of Aries. At that point, we, the Sri Lankan, uh, uh, culturally, we have considered that as a start of the new year. So this is a sort of, there is a lot of historical background to this, which is sort of interesting to talk to. Uh, the new year is basically something which is very ancient, the ancient, uh, it's a sort of a spring festival which sort of started in the things after a long winter, people wanted some festival in spring and that was sort of normally held in March, on March 21st, on, uh, the Ides of March, it was originally March 15th. But then subsequently it was March 21st with the Vernal Electronics when, when the sun is south of the uh, equator and as it appears to go north then we start going into warmer periods. Is that why Robert Knox also I think in 1681 or so said that the new yeah. year was celebrated in Sri Lanka I think on the March 27th? Yes, I just brought this book on, uh, on uh, Robert Knox and this uh, book if I turn to uh, uh, page, uh, 1681 it talks about the fact that the new year was celebrated on March 27th and then one would question as to why we are now celebrating New Year on April 13th, 13th. And, 14th. and that's interesting because that goes back to a lot of a lot of the astronomy behind what the New Year is all about. So if you take go back 2000 years long before Robert Knox, the New Year and the first point of Aries was in the vernal equinox, the sun was at the first point of Aries when it transited from uh, Pisces in, uh, to Aries on March 21st. And so that was the vernal equinox, that was when the summer, uh, spring was starting and that was when it was. But the, the, the astronomy is sort of because of the rotation of the earth, slightly precessing like a top. And I will sort of show you this uh, on a view graph that I have here just to show what it is. Um, is, uh, is that because of the tilt of the axis of the earth is sort of at 23 degrees from the thing. 
and because of that it precesses and over a period of 23 uh, 25765 years the uh, there's that's the position of the vernal equinox moves by uh, so many days, uh, uh, right through the whole uh, 365 days. So, New Year would move right across uh, from April to you know December after about 15,000 years, and so it is not going to be you know ex every it's time. It's not a static day. That is not a static day. Okay. And that is because we have now uh, adopted what we call the Gregorian calendar, which fixes the vernal equinox, which is the day that the sun moves from the south to the north on March 21st. Now that originally back uh, in during the it really quite interesting because back in the time of the Egyptians they knew that the uh, the year was 365 days mm -hmm. or so roughly and so they had you know 12 months of 30 days each and then they added five extra to get the 365 and they had a year of 365 days, but unfortunately the actual year is not 365, but 365 and a quarter point, uh, because we, and that is the reason then Julius Caesar came around and said, okay, we'll sort out the quarter and we will have one leap year every four years so that we can handle the quarter and that's how February 29th was introduced into the system. And ah, that is like it became an extra day. Yeah, extra day okay. every four years so right. that they could allow for 365 and a quarter. Right. But unfortunately, it was not exactly 365 and a quarter. It was 365.2422, uh, which is slightly less than a quarter and therefore over a period of, you know, thousand years there was a few extra days getting added into the system and slowly the summer festival which was spring festival which was March 21st was going further and further into summer and since Easter is also defined on in terms of the vernal equinox they didn't want to have Easter being celebrated in May and therefore Pope Gregory back in 1582 decided to change the definition of the calendar. So we changed in 1582 from a Gregorian calendar, uh, sorry, from a Julian, Julian calendar. calendar into so in 1582, the uh, Roman Catholic world moved from a Julian calendar into a Gregorian calendar. And, but since there was accumulated a number of days which have been added since the beginning of uh, the time, about 2000 years ago, to 1582, there was about 10 extra days which needed to be removed. So, in 1582, they declared the day after October 4th, uh, 1582 to be October 15th. It created a lot of rumpus in a lot of people who felt that they have been, 11 days of their life had been taken away from them. Anyway, that, that with that they managed to get the vernal equinox to go back into March 21st. Uh, but that change which was accepted in the Roman Catholic world was not accepted in the Protestant world, Christian world till 1752. For example, Britain changed over to, from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar only in 1752 and there they declared the day after September 3rd to be September 14th, 15, uh, 1752. And in that process, they went back and now the whole world basically accepts the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar fixes the vernal equinox at March 21st. But since there is a gradual movement of the vernal equinox, the position over the, uh, the whole 12 const, uh, zo uh, signs of the zodiac, the our single new year, which is defined being the transition 